I swear, this is how, like, every creepy horror movie starts, is they hear some weird noise in the basement, and they go to check it out. Well, this is it. I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, what is up guys? Uh, it is a pretty rainy, foggy day today. Um, it rained all night long, so hopefully some waterfalls should be pretty good. So I'm going to go check out Twin Sister Falls. Um, but quickly I wanted to talk about what I'm going to be carrying today. I do a lot of uh, photography videos and I really talk about what's in my bag. So quickly here, got my main body with a wide angle, got a 50 mil, got a fisheye. Um, breaking out the film camera today, going to bring that along. I uh, got filters, gloves, lens hood, all kinds of extra junk, and then just GoPro accessories in there. So, traveling pretty light today. But yeah, gonna go check out Twin Sister Falls now. One other thing I did forget to mention is uh, today's vlog is all gonna be shot on the GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition. Um, I've been really wanting to get a Canon like G7X or something like that, a little point and shoot make vlogging a lot easier. The uh, 60 is just no good for vlogging. It's too big and doesn't have autofocus and video mode, so uh, it's just not very good for that. But uh, before I dropped money on a G7X, I wanted to give the GoPro like a solid chance, so I'm gonna film a couple vlogs with it and see how it goes. Right now I'm just on my way up uh, to Brexel Reservation. I'm gonna go hit Twin Sister Falls. It is super foggy outside right now. Just pulling into the parking lot here. Um, oh, stop sign. Usually, a ton of people here. This parking lot's normally full, but since it's raining, no one's really here. So that's good. Alright. Here now, one thing I did forget to mention is you're definitely going to want waiters for this journey. Um, I just got some like hip waders. They aren't like full like They don't they're not like overall waders, but uh pretty good Got my tripod on there on my camera gear My backpack weighs about 30 35 pounds right now I don't know what that thing is Yeah, waders are definitely a must um, So right now I just got off of the parking lot you can see in the background hopefully over there And then we're just going to walk up Cross this bridge there. Yeah, once you've crossed the bridge, you're gonna walk about 200 feet or so, and you're gonna come to a fork in the road, just like this here. And you're gonna hang a left, hang a NASCAR. All right, haven't walked very far, maybe 100 feet since the left turn. And now you're gonna come to another fork in the road, and you're gonna hang a right go underneath the uh, whatever bridge this is. I don't know what bridge it is, but I definitely wouldn't say that was a quarter mile. I'd maybe say three, four hundred yards or so. Then you're gonna cross over this bridge that you can see here, and then you're just gonna make a veer right here, and I keep following the stream here. This is kind of the smaller stream on my right, and you can see over there on my left is the bigger stream. And we're walking right down between the two. So apparently that guy over my shoulder there, apparently he's super lost. He seemed pretty panicked. But luckily he's only about half a mile from the trailhead or so. So past the bridge there, maybe walked 100 yards. Uh, and then on your right, you're gonna see this little thing here. You can see there's a ton of water coming over there. There's a little sign right here. It says mud catcher. And right there is where we are going to cross. Um, from here on out, I'm gonna be wearing my waders, so let me put those on. And also got a little Walmart bag. Put my shoes in. I don't feel like having to carry these over. And I got them in a nice bag, they're all sealed up. And it's not that far over to there. So I'm gonna attempt to just throw them over there. So here we go. Check. 
<laughs> Alright, I'm all set, got my backpack on, got my waders on. Now, I have gone across this many times, and I know it usually comes up right around my knees. I also know the best place to go through it. I always want to be careful of crossing any type of river though. Um, especially like these currents, you know, they can easily grab you. Uh, this isn't anything that's too deep where I'm afraid of like drowning. So that's really the only reason I'm comfortable doing this. But basically your best place to cross would be just come down this thing here. You can see there's these rocks here. If you go just up there and over or like right through there, those are the like the most shallow spots and I usually do them through there. Got my shoes. Um, from here on out, I'm just gonna be wearing my waders anyway. But basically, the best way to get up is right there or up there. I'm gonna go right here though. So I just came across there, came up this. And then you're literally just gonna follow this upstream. I'd say it's about half a mile. Um, and you know, there's really no easy way through it. You just gotta go for it, pretty much. I'm gonna leave my shoes right there. They're all wrapped up in the bag so they won't get wet if it rains. I just really don't feel like carrying them. I'll just grab them on my way out. Cause like I said, I'm just gonna be wearing my waders the rest of this way. It's definitely a game changer trying to hike up this stream. So yeah, just lots of hiking up streams and stuff. It's not too bad. Um, if you really wanted, I'm sure there's a way you could get up this without going through the water. It would just take you a lot more time. Now, I'm not gonna do it right now. I'll do it on my way back, but I just noticed there's a waterfall up there. It looks really small, but uh, I'm sure, I mean, it's got water coming down it. But yeah, so I guess I'll mention that. There is a little split in it here. You can go up there or keep going left. Just hang a NASCAR and go left. This is one of my favorite parts of this hike, other than, you know, the main falls themselves. But it's a cool, like, mini cascade type of thingy here. This tree here looks super cool. Yeah, almost there. I think it's just right around this corner here. All right, I am now here. Holy crap, this is the first time I've ever been here when there's actually like a lot of water and it's so much more beautiful than in the summer when there's no water. But here they are. You have no idea how tall that is. It is so much taller than it ever looks in pictures or anything like that. Woo! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to hike up up there. I'm gonna try to get up there somewhere to get a picture. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, made it up to the top. See right there it is. Uh, it's starting to rain a little bit more, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm just going to try to get a few pictures and then probably start heading back down, maybe check out that other one. But you seriously have no idea how tall this is. I think I read somewhere that it's like 110 feet tall or something like that, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, I'm about to set up the camera and get a few snaps here before it starts raining more. Got a few good snaps up here. Um, I'm gonna make the hike back down. Still just, look at it. It's incredible. 
Bye bye. Alright, time to go. I'm not too sure what this has and hasn't filmed in the last like 10 minutes. I just noticed it froze up and uh, I haven't really been paying attention to if it was recording or not. But my shoes are still here. So I'm glad no one took my shoes. That's that's good. All right. It's the home stretch now. Just walking on paths and stuff, getting back to the parking lot. I'm just gonna wear my waders over there because I really don't feel like changing them now. All right, back to my car and everything. Just took off my waders, they're super muddy still. I figured they would have uh, gotten all clean from hiking across the river, but I just gotta throw them back in this box so it doesn't get everything in my trunk all muddy. And then I'm gonna head home and check these photos out. All right, so I got back, uh, edited my photos. I was able to figure out how to get the photos into the video here. So here, I'm just gonna quickly go through my top three. And then the last one here, this is the one I decided to upload to Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw it. Um, I'm probably gonna pick one of these three here to do for prints. Um, I'm gonna start or I'm going to try to be doing prints by the end of next week. Hopefully have my site up and running and everything. Um, you know, I've been just doing a little bit day by day on that and trying to get it there. It's just kind of a slow process. But yeah, hopefully you guys liked uh, today's vlog. It was a fun little adventure to Twin Sister Falls. If you've never been there before, I highly recommend it. Um, this summer, I'll definitely be going there a lot more than I have in the past. But uh, yeah, you know, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Peace.